Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and <coughs> to sorry for that and today I'm just gonna explain how you can install a Prometheus on Windows 10 machine. Uh, the what exactly the Prometheus is? Prometheus is just a monitoring tool uh, and you can just configure your alert as well. Uh, it's an open source and the uh, and the and the and and it and it is just built on you know the multi-dimensional data model with the time series data you know and the data and the data points can be identified by the matrix name you know and the good part is within that matrix what you can do is you can just give your filter criteria and there are a lot of inbuilt functionality or the or the functions which you can which you can use to just filter your data points and just saw that saw the you know the graphical representation of those data points right and and the, and the Prometheus is something uh, for which you know the Grafana provides the integration f as a data source, right? So graf in within a Grafana, you can just uh, uh, configure your Prometheus as a data source, and whatever the matrix you have on your Prometheus, the same matrix and same matrix you can utilize in a Grafana, and you can just make you know the more representable and more attractive you know the graphs and the uh, representation of the data points, right? So let me just quickly show how you can install that uh, so the very first thing what you can do is oh, go to the go to the google and just type the prometheus for window 10 and you just go to this url the prometheus.io download click on this and it will take you to this download page what you have to just scroll it down okay and just come here and just see this is for window and here also you can just figure it out what exactly you want you want windows and what exactly you want amd64 what architecture you need right so i need just for window and so i'm just getting that if i just wanted to put all then i will sh so see everything right so let me just quickly click on this so the moment i'll click on this it will start downloading the star file see it's a zip file i don't need that for now because i have already downloaded it right so let me just show you how would it look like once it is done. Just see, this has already been downloaded and I have already copied this in this folder <coughs> and I have already unzipped that. So the moment you will unzip that, you will see this folder, right? And within this folder, you have this Prometheus application and the more important thing is the Prometheus.yaml and this is the file where you just give the configuration and all the machine information which you want to monitor right and it allow you to just give the instance or the machine name or the server name along with the ports and you can just configure multiple servers multiple machines and the multiple applications running on those multiple instances right so <coughs> by default uh, just this is what it looks like for the first time right and uh, if you want to add you know the new machine like I did I, what I did is I just created another job name and to just you know explain this uh, YAML file I'll be you know making a, another video where I will be explaining the meaning of each and every but for now what you can understand if you really want to monitor more than one application on a single machine for example you can see localhost localhost right and I'm just running my Grafana on 8989 right similarly you can run n number of mach application on n number of ports right and you can configure them one by one right or collectively also you can collect everything and you can just give it like this as well local host 89 yeah. this is also you can do okay and just to keep it pretty simple for now I am just you know only <coughs> I'm just uh, keeping myself for you know to the default default one so no need to do anything on a configuration side you just need to go back to the folder where you have just unzipped the file and you just need to click on this okay so since you just need to check whether there is any error or not if you get this match server it's ready to receive a request it means you had made your Prometheus service up and running on your machine right now how you can so by default what happens is prometheus run on 1994 okay so let me just quickly show you okay how does it look like 1990 
yeah so this is the prometheus then you have alert then you have graph then here you have some status related information uh, maybe in a different video i'll just walk you through what all these you know the different different uh, different different uh, different different uh, what all information it contains right for example the configuration here you will see that yaml file which i just showed you before you know coming to here right so and similarly you can see the targets right so these are the two targets right which i just configured within a yaml okay and then not much here but this is what it is right and uh, what hap what what the beauty of the prometheus is prometheus provides a lot of metrics by default and you can use them right you just type go and you will see all those metrics which is by default prometheus provides to you and you can just pick any one of them and you can just execute that it will collect the points and the date and the values and you just need to click on graph and you will see the graph okay from here you can just reduce the time and you can see this how the data points just looks like right now uh in in this prometheus right uh 9090 is the prometheus port where the prometheus is running so i can see all those information related to prometheus and the another job i just configured with the grafana and it it is monitoring the port number 8989 but you know 8989 currently it's not working for me quickly sh let me show you whether the grafana which i just configured on 8989 is working or not it's not okay so let me quickly up the grafana okay i'll just go to grafana win file uh, if you really want to see how you can install a grafana i have already posted my one of my video and put a link to link of uh, how to install grafana on the window machine you just need to click on this now i have started the grafana let me just quickly go back here and let me just refresh it yeah it's working right now i have to check whether you know this how can i do that i can just go to the target see earlier when the grafana was not running it was down now it is up so now you can just get all the information related to the grafana as well what exactly happening you can just select your those matrix execute them and you can see this the, see these grafana 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 right and i have two jobs right two jobs grafana grafana and prometheus so you can see these things right here and you can just see the graphs as well okay so this is what the uh, prometheus is and what all things you can just configure and there are a lot of you know the flexibility in terms of just defining your own kind of matrix which you want to monitor right so it's completely depend upon your application what kind of information you want prometheus to monitor right so all those things you can configure and maybe in some maybe in a next video i'll be covering how you can configure and how how you can create a new matrix you know and what all things you can do with the prometheus and thanks for watching this and if you really like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it and if you have any suggestion or feedback feel free to just put that in comment i'll try to just incorporate that in the next video thank you for watching me and thanks a lot again